Hi, I'm Will Lee. I'm the principal investigator of the Acute Liver Failure Study Group. This group started in 1998, funded by NIDDK to uh, support studies related to acute liver failure, a rare condition that affects probably 2,000 people annually in the U.S. Fifty percent of the cases that we've enrolled since that time at 23 sites around the U.S. are due to acetaminophen poisoning. What we focused on in the current clinical trial that I'm going to describe is the value of N-acetylcysteine, the antidote for acetaminophen poisoning, but using this in non-acetaminophen acute liver failure patients. Patients with acute liver failure typically come in very ill and uh, frequently die or need a transplant, and that's why this is a crucial study. Uh, what we set up to do was to do a placebo-controlled blinded trial and over the course of uh, the study, over about eight years period, in fact, we enrolled 173 patients with acetaminophen uh, excluded. And these are then patients who had drug-induced liver injury, autoimmune hepatitis, hepatitis B, or indeterminate acute liver failure when we don't seem to know what the cause is. These patients come in, they're encephalopathic, that is, they have some altered mentation, uh, and uh, they're very ill and are in the ICU and they're begun on in a blinded fashion either uh, dextrose and water only or dextrose and water plus the N-acetylcysteine. Over 72 hours what we were looking for was differences in overall survival and what we saw was very little difference between the two groups in overall survival but significant differences in the transplant free survival and particularly in the, the patients with early coma grades, those patients with less advanced disease. The importance of this study is that it gives us an opportunity to, to treat patients with early stage disease and to get uh, some apparent benefit, decreased number of patients being transplanted and improved spontaneous survival, that is survival without transplantation. And it seemed to be limited in this study to this early stage group, the ones that have less severe coma. The reason being that the patients with more advanced coma either die or get a transplant, often within 42, 48 or 72 hours. Um, so bottom line, this study suggests that n acetylcysteine or NAC as we call it, is of value in, uh, in patients provided you get them early in the, the stage of their acute liver failure episode. If you do so, then you can benefit, uh, their out improve their outcomes, and perhaps prevent them from requiring transplantation.